everybody and welcome back to Six Ashes. This is Chad from CBW Farms and I'm glad to see everybody again. We're on episode 11 here today and apologies I guess for not getting any videos out lately but uh, those piggies have been keeping me kind of busy here I guess and yeah I haven't had much time to play or or to get on my my PlayStation here I guess but but I'm back anyway so you're stuck with me for now. All right. Oh, I thought maybe that was a missed spot there, but I must have doubled up. Just trying to make sure that we got all of our grass turned into hay here. Which I guess we do have our rake on, so... Yeah, I haven't done much on here other than finish tedding, I guess, and since our last episode. So I figured today we can start here by doing some raking. If I can not run over any chickens here in the process. So a lot of today is about making hay. And then we need to get our field 51 seeded too. We need to think about what we're putting in there. I think we've decided kind of so far now. Uh, uh, I asked you guys what your opinion was. And, and the opinion that I had in the last video was uh, for corn. For our pigs. So I believe we're going to go buy ourselves a, a planter and try not to miss all of this stuff here try to straighten out that's the bad spot about or bad part about these small fields right here that a lot of turning around and especially right close to the edges of everything here I'm gonna miss a little nope I got that all surprisingly this tractor don't turn on a dime, that's for sure. It turns pretty good for a tractor like this. But... Okay, chickens, look out. All right. And I'm kind of thinking about buying a forest area near here, near us here. Or we're going to need some more money to get CJ Farms purchased so we can get started on those cows and those sheep. I'm concentrating on turning. I'm not ignoring you guys. Alright. Lots of stuff to do here today on Six Ashes. Farm dog Jim is in the office here with me. He's got his nose hanging out the window. I got the window opened up in here. At least he's being quiet, let's put it that way. And it was a week ago when we had had CBW's very first ever live stream and and uh, I think it all went pretty well. I, I know I missed a little bit of chat, but but no, I do appreciate each and every one of you that joined in that day and and no, that was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it again. I don't know how soon I'll be able to do one again. We're, we're just about into harvest here now. Uh, we're thinking next week we might be starting maybe on some, some soybeans might be ready to, to harvest. So that and I still got fat hogs going out everywhere yet and, or a couple sites yet and new pigs will have to come in. And so yeah, it's going to get hectic here in Iowa, I guess. And, uh, that's why I thought today I'll, I'll spend with you guys. All right. And on six ashes here, all we have for right now is our chickens and our pigs that we have. Letting them kind of do their thing, I guess. And we still need to get our egg pallets yet. From Quiet Hitman. Our refillable pallets. But we can throw the chicken egg boxes into there, so... We've got that too, so no big rush on there. The chickens are producing eggs, but they don't have a lot of them yet. I'm just trying to get this to where we can pick it up good. So I think for right now, we'll just throw it in our, our silo loose here anyway. And kind of be ready for whenever we get sheep and cows, which I guess sheep we can do grass if we have to. Won't make any difference, I guess. But And especially that we're doing this without seasons. All right, one last little strip in this one. There. 
our first tiny little hay field is done until we start adding more buildings to this and eventually it won't be a hay field anymore but, but that'll come at a later date all right try to get all this bonus grass over here a little harder to see with the the bushes that are kind of growing in here I don't know if we're gonna get all that or not no oh, it will let us do it It don't have to be quite 100% perfect, which is unbelievable for me saying that, but I gotta move our camera up here a little bit. So we're kind of going down on the hill. Looks like we can just make three little windrows here, so there won't be much. But every little bit will help. Uh, turn, turn, turn. All right, we're just about done over on this farm. And we'll have to hit all of our little grass fields on the main farm, I guess. All right. That didn't work well. I'm going to have to go back and do that again. Sorry about that. I was watching the dog. All right, now we'll get it. Maybe it was put up pretty good. Well, no, this is better. All right, we'll lift and fold here and we'll head over to the main farm a minute. Looks like our pigs are doing good. Looks like they're spilling some feed, but that's pretty normal for pigs, I guess. They aren't known for being very clean. All right, back down the road here to the main farm. At least it's not very far away. Lower that down. It ain't let me lower it. There it goes. I don't know why it wouldn't let me lower it. I guess it had to be turned on first. I didn't think that had to be, but it is what it is. All right. And I keep watching about some loose pigs on Kiwi old Kiwi farm, but Farming Stee and uh, Rabbit Rob are both playing on that map, and uh, they're wondering if they're my pigs, and they could quite easily be, I don't know. I kind of left them a message this morning that, that yeah, I opened the door to them because they broke a feed or a water line in the hog barn this morning, which they did do. It, that was a true story that a water line was broken this morning, but I did fix it. I think I put on Farming Steve's comment that I was just too lazy to fix it, so I let the pigs pigs out to roam. And I figured they would find water in that Farming Steve, and Rabbit Rob would find them for me and, and take care of them. Which they have been doing a wonderful job at. Alright, turned around here. I don't know how much hay we'll get off these little fields here. Probably not a whole lot, I guess. But it's a start. Like I said, they're small fields anyway, so I don't expect a lot out, off of them. Being originally field 51, was supposed to be a great big grass field. Which we haven't got that done yet either. But like I said, we're going with corn there this time anyway again. Got to keep those piggies fed. I thought I was going to hit that wall to stop, and I didn't. All right. Off we go again. Well, hopefully everybody's doing well since the last time that I've seen and talked to you all. And I get to see a few of you on your channels, I guess. And, and that, I know I'm a little bit behind on a, 
on a few guys again too, or, or kind of behind on everybody, I guess. And everybody keeps out putting great content every day, and I kind of fall behind, and I can't even keep up watching them, let alone make videos, but no, you guys keep them on coming though. I'll watch as many as I can as soon as I can, and looking forward to it. Hopefully everybody's staying healthy and with our current situation going on in the world again or whatever. Hopefully nobody's getting sick. I heard of a couple people's children kind of getting sick here. Rusty Money has a son that has allergy a little bit the way it sounds. And it sounded like today he was doing a little better. But, but no, hopefully he recovers. And that, yeah, anybody else that's getting sick with that stuff is getting over it too I hope alright we got a blend of that little bit in there it's kinda hard to talk and do this field at the same time yeah, shut that off but we'll get her picked up anyway eh, now that I can hit with the loading wagon I'm still leaning towards when we do silage, I might get the Vicon or the Cavernlin fast bail and, and use that. And being we're not using seasons, we'll have silage immediately that way then. And so that's why I'm trying to save some of my bale space, I guess. And so if we get a couple hundred silage bales that we're not out of room, I guess, for them on council. I don't know why I mowed in such tight little areas. But I guess I did. Really wish we could use this greenhouse. That'd have been a nice little extra income also. Like I say, we don't want to turn real sharp here for some reason. Run over our potatoes. Rusty money would be upset with me if I ruin my potato field there. I'll have to find a little potato harvester for that garden. Alright. A little bit here and then we'll be off to our last field I guess. Plenty to do, plenty to do. It's just a matter of getting there now, I guess. It all takes time. All right. We're getting some hours on our old fan here. We're at 16.7 hours already. So we're using that baby. Wonder if I can fit through the gate with this one too or not. That one looks awful narrow. No, I better fold up. And before planting, I wanted to get that hay off there so we didn't do something with the crop state. Yeah, there's our floating stump that I can't seem to get rid of. All right. Kind of an old abandoned shed back there. It's like the roof rotted off a long time ago. Whenever we can afford to have cows, we better have some happy cows. I'm going to have to turn all the way around here. I don't know how I got it all into the shed there, but somehow I did. I'll get as close as I can here. Hit the post. Run over our fuel barrel. There goes farm dog Jim. Somebody's driving by. Nobody can sneak around around here. All right. Let's get some of this grass off the field here a minute. That way it'll be all ready for planting. There's more bumps on that yard than I remember there being. But... Oh, 
There. Getting the hardest parts of this stuff done anyway. I think we'll just keep it going and we'll just go right there. This one we better shut it off. I guess it's a quick way to mow the lawn using a disc mower. Ah, I guess we didn't even use a disc mower. We got little sickle mowers, I guess. Our little sand mowers that we have. They do work pretty good, though. And they're really reasonable on price. All right. Just about the end of the row here. There we go. Wheels came up out of the air. On the air. Let's see. That ain't worth raking there. Because we'll pull the other windrows into it. Start right here. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, hopefully you guys have been enjoying other YouTubers videos here. We've got a, plenty of uh, new guys in the in the mix here and looks like they're doing real well and loving their content. So yeah, it's great to see everybody doing this. Have fun with them over on Jelsa's streams usually or Bruce's gaming. Sometimes I see them on there too, I guess. Nice to chat with everybody. All right. So this is a hard field to talk in. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm concentrating a little bit here. All right. We are done raking. Fold him back up and put him in the shed. Forgot that I left that head trailer there that we haven't used. Let's see. My nose itches. perfectly backed up into the post. How did you do that, Chad? Whoa. That will work. Now to find our loading wagon. I can't remember. I think that might be at the pig farm. I'll look in here a minute. But nope. Just the harvester is in there. going to be fun turning that loading wagon around and all this. All right. Pretty sure I left it in the big machine shed over here, I think. Don't quote me. Or spotted piggies. Got to get used to the controls again. Um, oh, boy. Oh, okay. The... I'm in the right spot, but I guess I didn't need to come in here with the tractor. I'll park him down in the shade over here. Since we've already got the faded paint when we purchased it, we get to use our cloth. I said I kind of remember putting that in there, but I guess I didn't remember that I had it on the tractor yet. Ugh. Put a couple scratches in it. All right, picking up some hay. And we do got two hours on this tractor already. I'm surprised. It's mostly from hauling grain was about all we did with it. Oh, I guess we cultivated. That's right. Even I got to remember what we did back in the last episode. So if you're a future generation watching this, you would have known that right away. Trying to get it all there. Uh, some happy cows, happy sheep. Someday. Hopefully it ain't very long before we get the, that other farm bought. Then we'll pick up more fields that way too. But like I said, I think I'm going to end up having to 
do some more wood chipping. This is just the way I'm turning around, that's why I thought I'd hit this a minute. Still got our livestock trailer that we're leasing. And to think of it, I think that little cedar that we have, we're leasing that thing too, but uh, that can't cost very much per day. I could hit that grass here that I missed with the tatter because I'm over 5% on the loading wagon. If I'd have been under 5%, it would have turned it all to grass. Pick up some of this stuff so we don't bounce over it when we go down the path again. It won't be long. We'll be harvesting our crops in our other three small fields by the honeypot allotment. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll get a couple loads off of both of these fields or not, or both of these farms. We'll head up here and grab that little pile. I don't know why the Chihuahua is digging in the carpet, but she's digging. Look out, chickens, we're coming through. It's raising faster than I thought it would. Someday we should wash our machinery off too. But I don't even have a power washer yet. And we definitely have mo enough money to get one. But <clears throat> we'll get there, I guess. All right. And I do want to give a great big special thank you and a shout out to a few guys here. I had a few guys uh, donated on my live stream on the 11th and. I much appreciate it, guys. I, I sure didn't expect it, but um, no, I, I I do much much appreciate it. And in fact, I've already put some of it to good use already. Um, and the first one there would be Brian Baru. He gave me a, a nice little donation, and, and go check out Brian Baru Royalty. Go check out his channel. He's got plenty of great stuff there on Glazebrook and Addington Park. And my next one would be uh, Jason Donnelly and the Farmer Cop channel. They gave a real nice donation, and that helped out a lot with, with what I purchased, which I'll, I'll let you know here in a minute what it is. And Rabbit Rob, our buddy from Colorado, thank you, thank you for your donation to the channel as well. And, and you guys check out Rabbit, Rabbit Rob's channel. He's also got some great content. He's kind of a funny guy to listen to. And, and yet, don't forget to check out Farmer Cop and Gamer Cop as well. Like I said, big big supporters to the channel. And then Stefan Maloney. I really want to thank you, buddy. That was much, much appreciated too, your donation. And finally, last but not least, is Jelsa Farmer. Made a donation to the channel as well. And much appreciated, buddy, and everything you've done for the channel. And... You know, and having been a moderator for me on that stream, and you, Bruce, and Gore, you guys did an awesome job, and kept everybody in line, and kept the links coming, and no, that's what we're all about here, supporting each other, so, so nope, I, I much appreciate it, guys, but, but then I, I also want to thank my son, Tyler, my son from Colorado, um, before my birthday, he says, Dad, you're getting something in the mail for your birthday. I don't know when it'll be here. Okay. No clue what it was or anything like that. So then uh, he ended up going home last Tuesday. He flew back to Colorado Springs. And, but then uh, in the afternoon here, I got a package delivered. So I, I waited to open it up because I figured it was from him because I hadn't ordered anything. And nothing for the farm or anything, I guess. So, so I waited and... Uh, kind of voice or voice FaceTimed him or whatever you call it messenger on on uh, Facebook or whatever called him up about 5 30 that afternoon and opened it up in front of him and what he sent me was a GoPro 9 that was a very very unexpected gift so he really must want me to get some real life videos out here too so so now I've got no excuses guys uh, 
Now, other than I'm watching a lot of videos how to use it, there's a lot of settings to that thing. But we know with the GoPro, we sent uh, an additional battery charger with it and a couple extra batteries and a 128 megabyte, I believe it is, uh, SIM card. So a nice big SIM card. I should be able to record about four, four and a half hours with that. And, and uh, there was a cleaning kit in there. Or, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So and then with the money that I had received from the from the live stream then, that I haven't used at all. I didn't use. I only used like thirty dollars or whatever. But uh, I bought some accessories for it. Some uh, stands, some tripods. Uh, I know there's a, a kit that came with a bunch of stuff that I haven't even opened it up yet. And in fact, the camera I still have. It's still in its box yet. But I should be getting that on the charger here since we'll be in the field soon. But but no, I bought a few things for the camera. Like I said, a magnetic holder was a big thing, so I can hopefully attach it to the combine here next week, and you know, or when we're doing tillage or something like that, to get you guys some footage of that too. So, so yeah. And then Chad's got to learn how to edit all that on a PC, and how to yeah even upload the the videos to the PC. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos, and I haven't really found out a lot about that yet. I've just learned more about using the camera itself. So, so no, a great, great, great big thank you, Tyler, and, and the rest of you guys, too. I, I much, much appreciate it, and the channel appreciates it. And, and hopefully I can serve you guys well. Then you get to watch me mess up real farming. Not just messing up here. <laughs> My driving and real farming is not probably much better. Uh, come on, baby. There we go. We're gaining. Like I said, we're not getting a lot, a lot of hay, but we're getting a fair little amount for for ground that don't do us much, much good otherwise, I guess, other than for building on. And even that would be kind of tough with all these bumps and humps. There. Well, I think I am going to finish up the the picking up of the hay here, and I will see you when we're dumping the last load, and we'll see how much we get. See you in a second. All right, we're heading back to the to the silo with our last little bit here. As you can see, it's only three percent, so I just about had it all finished on one load that we had over there, but not quite. That's all right. We got to clean things up pretty good, I think, anyway. So we'll put this in our silo, and we'll see what we got for our future cows. Slash sheep. All right. It ain't going to take long to unload, I know that. And we're empty. All right, should we see what we got in there? We got, oh, we got uh, 485,000 liters of straw. We got 86,000, just about 86,500 liters of hay and no grass, so. Yeah, not a lot, but didn't quite get our 100,000. That would have been nice, but that's all right. We'll be okay. There's plenty more grass to be cut yet. All right. Hook him. What do we got for egg pellet or er, boxes? Well, we're getting a few of them there. I'm gonna have to get over to the store with the pickup truck and grab a, a reusable pallet, I guess. But we also need to get ourselves a planter. But um. Ba -ba 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 I'm thinking we need to go to the store. I want to do something in that field first. Things we do have some money here. In our field 51. I think we're going to get rid of those tree clumps in the middle of the field there. Or that, that basically it's one tree. And then we'll have to flatten it out a little bit so it's not such a big hump there, but We'll need to get the plow, we'll need to get some lime, we'll need to put a couple coats of fertilizer on. Yeah, a lot, a lot of running around for that little bit, but we'll try to make that field a little more user-friendly. 
So, back to the store we go. Looks like all the crops around here are pretty well ready to go on the map here. Sneak in front of him. And we'll go talk to Iron Man Rick again. Iron Man Rick, where are you at? Uh, you're over here by your desk again. You guys really need to decorate in here a little bit. Alright. What we need to do is forestry equipment again. And this bad boy. And we're just going to lease it so it can be this color. There we go. Thank you, Rick. Oh, shoot, I got the weight on here. We can put him on the back. Uh, we can put the tree devourer on the back of the way, too, I guess. We'll drop the weight off on our way to go get the wagon. So I believe the wagon is still way down by our other three fields. Yeah, we still have a little bit of seed left here, too. We don't need now since we got Martha Stewart, but we should get that seed used up. So if we get a planter bot here, we'll have to we'll have to make sure we get that used up so it don't get rained on and ruined. All right, back down to the pig farm. And drop off that front weight. Got him selected. Now, and if there's anything else you guys would like to see on this series, I mean, we're trying to grow and, and get our animal achievements is, is the goal here. Or I know it seems like it's going slow, or it seems like it's going slow for me anyway, but uh, to get some of that going. But I guess if it takes us 50 episodes or 100 episodes, I don't really care. We'll try to get it done before FS22 comes out anyway. But any other suggestions or anything you guys would like to see, like I said, Feel free to put them in the comments. That's that's what they're down there for. All right. I like hearing from you guys too. So, good, bad, or otherwise, it don't matter to me. Let's throw him over here. Ooh. Our weight is gone. Our weight is over. I won't sing anymore. But I don't promise. I guess I have this clump of trees here I'd like to get purchased here pretty soon, but I want to go get rid of that one lonely tree in the middle of field 51 and get that landscaped and get that all reworked so I can get a planter out there. So, well, yeah, we'll have to see how this harvester works on that tree, too. We know on this map it hasn't been doing the best of the best, but I think I got a little bit of a trick figured out to it that... If the tree starts falling, I gotta quick get back to that tree again. You know, quick get over top of the stump, and then it seems like it gets it. But I don't know why it don't seem like it don't do that on all maps, but oh well. It's still kind of cheaty, but but we're getting paid for it too, I guess. So we're getting paid to cheat. Plus, we need to come down here. Oh, look up there. We got soybeans ready to go. The work keeps coming up anyway. Good deal. We'll get some cash crop finally, anyway. Not that there'll probably be a lot in there, but. Unhook him. That's kind of what I had the wagon down here for. Not thinking about getting rid of that darn tree. Alright. Hook him up. Now we gotta drive all the way back again. I don't know how hard it is to see with that thing on. It ain't the nicest to see out of the front end, but it ain't impossible either, I guess. All right. Well, I would imagine most of you guys might be excited to hear about the new crossplay that we got on Farming Simulator 22 coming for all platforms. 
that we can all play with each other as long as we got the same mods downloaded to that map. And when I kind of caught off of DJ Goham and Clutch's uh, uh, Farm Sim show the other day, he started talking a little bit about uh, the mod hub. I think we'll show you what mat or what mods are compatible with crossplay. You know, especially if you're on PC, you won't know, you know, what mods console got compared to what mods, you know, just PC had received. I mean, obviously it's got to be for all platforms mod. And, and like I said, most people on PC don't know, you know, don't know which one is which anyway, as long as it's out of the mod hub. So yeah, no, that will be kind of a nice feature to have. I'm looking forward to maybe doing a little... Uh, multiplayer here sometime, somewhat soon, I hope, anyway. See if we get a rainy day this fall or something, and uh, I know it'll probably be about the easiest for, like, Rabbit Rob and myself, and uh, uh, John Linden, I believe, you know, the guy, uh, Looney Farm guy, I think he's kind of out of Canada, too, if I remember right. But, uh, you know, some of us guys on this time zone or whatever, but but no, we'll definitely play with, with Jelsa and, and Brian and, and all the boys over there too. So, like I said, it's something I'd like to try out. I've never done it on PlayStation before. I would know nothing about it at all. Uh, my son, kind of, my other son uh, from town here, or another son. Oops, I gotta have that on. I gotta turn my screen on here a minute. Oh, pipe out. But, uh, yeah, he always wants me to play with him. But he's really busy in the field right now, too, so... Okay. Turn on wood crusher, lower wood crusher. That's a big tree. I hope it works. I've never seen anybody get rid of this one. Maybe you can't. Oh, 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 we got action. <laughs> Look at that. We got that bad boy. But we got shrapnel around here, too. Is that part of the tree? Yeah, it is. Bye-bye, tree. Now I wonder if we can pick that up. And throw it into the chipper. Yep. Oh, we even got more wood chips. Out. Oh, wow, like a thousand liters. Julio Julio. We got ourselves a little island. Lift. Off. Pipe in. And I think it looks like they went all of the, to the wagon, too. So, a lot of times this wood chipper, you got to be just the right direction for it to blow into the wagon. Yeah. Let's take a pause here for a second and go into landscaping. Sculpting. Oops, I don't want to modify that terrain anyway. Okay. Do we want to smooth it out? Let's try to get our... Mm, change our brush strength and let's get that way up to three. Okay. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Get rid of all the little bushes there so it's easier to see anyway. Let's kind of make that a little bigger. I'm watching the money go down to make sure that it's even working. And it is. It's going down. Won't even know that it was there here pretty soon means I gotta find our plow back, which I believe is by the fan. As long as the money's going down, it's still flattening, so... Hate to waste this money. But I really don't like going around that tree. I know, I probably lost character. Alrighty. There be that. This can go over the other direction. 
We should be done with the tree devourer over here. Head back to the pig farm again. And we'll go find our fent and the plow and get that plowed up. And we'll fertilize. And then we'll lime and then we'll fertilize again. I think. I mean, it, I don't know if they'll consider that a grass texture because if it's grass, plowing it up a lot of times will give you the first fertilization stage. So I guess we'll see what the map looks like after we do this. All right. Oops. Probably a little more over this way. All right. Yeah, we got field prepping to do here, and now we got a couple fields ready to go, but I don't care if it takes us a little bit of time. I wouldn't mind if that third field would catch up with the other two, so we might let that go on more growth stage anyways. So but we'll try to get all the work done that we need to do up on, on the north end here. Don't worry about the south end later. Head out to our little island here. Allow create fields. Turn that off. Let's see how rough this baby is. Hopefully it's not terrible. Let's see if there's any sharp points to this. Kind of get the perimeter done around here. I said it might not be 100% smooth, but can't be much worse than what our yard was for roughness. And I even smoothed a lot of that out when we took the trees out. Apparently not very well. All right. Turn around one more time and we'll have this. Then we'll jump out of the tractor and see what it all needs right in the center here. There. Let's see here once. Nope, it has fertilized 0%, so we will come back here with the fertilizer spreader. We'll put fertilizer on it first. We'll empty the fertilizer spreader. I know we got lime over there that we need to use up anyway. We'll try to get it all blended in. My little spot up ahead of the tractor there, that's where I did crop destruction on my wheat that was out here. All right. Plow could have just well went back to the other shed, but that's okay here too. Now I gotta remember where our fertilizer spreader is. If I brought that way down south, I, I don't remember seeing it when we Got the trailer. Doesn't say what was over there, but just a shop. It might be in another corner of the machine shed here. I don't remember. Or did I leave it out? Hmm. I think it's in here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, I can't find it. It's here somewhere. Oh, good. We don't have a lot of fertilizer that we'll have to reload. Probably not going to get rid of much of our lime that's up there either, I guess. But we'll get some of it used up. Oh no, come to think of it, I picked up all that lime, didn't I, the last episode? That's right. Oh, it's all in our silo. I forgot that I used a little tipper and did that. Alright. Back to where 
middle of the field here. Pan way out, and we'll see what fertilizes. Uh, Got to know where the outside edge is here. There's 50% fertilized anyway. We'll leave them off right there so I don't forget to do that. I just don't remember which silo I put the lime in. I'm guessing the other one. I don't remember this one. I thought this one held lime, but I don't remember if I put it in here. Eh, maybe it won't let me out of there. I guess it's just hay and stuff like that it holds. It didn't hold fertilizer or lime. So, another trip over here. We sure put a lot of miles on in an episode and run into a couple posts and all that fun stuff. Gonna have to call the city maintenance department or the county maintenance department out here to work on the road. We're getting a war out. Can we sit between there? Yeah. Not a problem. Ooh. Oh, whew. I gotta say, we didn't need much of the lime. Hopefully 4,000 liters will be enough to do that little spot. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to kind of end this one here because I've probably yammered on long enough again. I go on those long rants. So, so again, thank you, everybody, for watching, and especially if you stayed tuned in this long in the video. And I hope to catch you all next time when next time we'll be doing some planting for sure, and uh, we'll probably be starting to cut down some trees if we can afford that, that forested area over there. And, get our money built up so we can get CJ farm spots. So, no, we definitely have things to be doing. And yeah, till next time, I guess I will see you later. And thanks for tuning in. Take care, guys. Bye now.